Hi everybody, it's Benita Hutchison back with talking about goals. Uh, you haven't seen me for a few weeks because when Tillman and I got back from vacation, we brought a bug back with us. So we've been sick for the last few weeks and um, starting to get on the other side of it. Um, for me, I have a few other complications because of my asthma and my sarcoidosis. It's taking longer to get my lungs completely back. So you're gonna hear a little bit of coughing. Um, and it really made me think about looking at goals a little differently today. So that's what I want to talk about. Um, what do we do when there's a U-turn? What do we do when what we're aiming for, uh, we're being basically told by, <coughs> by the universe, you're going in a different direction with this, or at least for now, you have to step back on something you wanted to do. It is really easy for us with our Western mindset to uh, get caught up in um, wanting to go full steam ahead on something because damn it we decided on that um, and, and the problem with that is the universe might have something else in mind for you um, I've been reading a lot of Pema Chodron's material while I've been sick and uh, I really love the way she looks at things the whole idea of uh, moving with what's going on um, also the practices that help you to uh, works through any emotions that come up. It might be grief, anger, frustration, fear. Um, and what she suggests there is a practice where you um, breathe in all the suffering of everybody who's going through the emotions that you are right now or the conditions that you are. And as you exhale, just offering compassion to yourself and them. And, and you just keep doing that. And it puts you in this amazing state of flow and acceptance and connection, knowing you're not alone, you're not the only person going through this, other people are struggling as well. And we're all in this together. You know, as Ram Dass put it, we're all just walking each other home. So bear in mind that if you do have any setbacks, if the universe does say, nope, you're not going in that direction or you're not yet, um, other people are going through guidance as well. And guidance doesn't always come to us in gentle ways. It doesn't always come the way we would like it to. In fact, I'd say some of the most powerful lessons in my life have not come about through easy circumstances. In fact, if they're easy, chances are we'll ignore them. We won't look at them. But when something's in your face, like, okay, I got to deal with this, it, you have no choice. You just have to face it. And one thing about illness is it slows you down. So you'll do the emotional work that's necessary for the next shift. So say you have set a goal. I, I want to head in this direction. And maybe you don't realize there's some emotional material to work through in order for that shift to occur, in order for that goal to be achieved. The universe may throw obstacles in your way. It might be uh, you don't get that opportunity you were looking for, or the funds you need don't come through, or illness occurs. And when you go, okay, um, there's a purpose to this. It can help reduce some of the frustration. You just go, all right, <coughs> um, I'm not always in control. In fact, quite honestly, we never really are. The universe is in charge. It has a better idea for us of what we really need and what we really need to do uh, than our limited ego consciousness does. For example, uh, when I got my diagnosis a couple of years ago, I've ended up working with so many people dealing with long-term illness um, to help them change their mindset on it, to help them cope with all the feelings that come up with it, and to start to work on the patterns being brought to the surface by illness. Um, disruption in the body can be an amazing way of showing us what we aren't looking at, don't want to see, or just aren't ready to see any other way. So when it comes to your goal setting, sure, place the intention. But if something causes a disruption, check in and say, okay, is there something else I was supposed to look at here? Is there something internal that needs to shift? Is this not really the direction I'm supposed to go right now? Am I supposed to sit still? Am I supposed to move forward in a different direction? Am I supposed to seek support from somebody else? What's supposed to happen? As I've said before, once you place intention, the universe is going to operate, but not always the way that we think. So 
it can be really helpful. And you know me, I've always said entrepreneurship is a spiritual path. Um, for those of you in business, business, it can be really helpful to say, okay, I, I want to serve. I want to serve my people. I want to make a difference. I want to make my contribution. But I'm open to the possibility that what that looks like might be different from what I thought it should be. So if you're meeting roadblocks of any kind, that's an opportunity to say, okay, why is the roadblock here? What is it trying to show me? If it's not letting me go there, what is it trying to get me to do? Is there something that has to be adapted to move forward? We can be so busy trying to push forward because we want that that we don't realize there might be a direction we're taking that's even more fulfilling, more profound, more spiritually nurturing and developing of ourselves if we allow ourselves to be guided. So that's my suggestion for today. Whatever your goals are, whatever you're looking at creating in your life, if you encounter some kind of resistance or roadblock before you just push ahead and try to make something happen because that's what you decided you wanted. Stop for a moment and get curious. Is there something I'm not seeing? Is there something that needs to shift inside? Is there somebody I need to ask for help with this? And if you're not sure about whether something needs to shift inside, one really clear way of finding out is what are your feelings around the situation? Are you having a really powerful reaction? Whether it's anger, fear, grief, whatever the feeling is, it's telling you in some way you are attached to the outcome and that attachment is worth exploring. Now, if you find that you're in a situation where you're doing the deep dive, you're not getting answers, that's where I come in. I'm happy to work with you. My forte is to tap directly into your subconscious and be able to tell you, this is precisely where you're stuck. This is why. And now let's look at some steps to move through that. So we're all on a journey. We're all getting where we need to go. But remember, there's going to be some twists and turns in the journey. Sometimes there's going to be detours that are absolutely necessary. And where we end up, if we're willing to let ourselves be guided is always more beautiful, more fulfilling, more miraculous than we ever could have dreamed for ourselves. So let yourself be guided today. See where it takes you and be willing to do the deep work that not only gets you to the destination you were meant to have, but changes the person you become along the way. Have a great week, everybody. I look forward to seeing you next week.